Today we are promoting a great event, in my opinion. We are working with LA Animal Rescue and the filmmakers of After Porn Ends. Mary Carey, myself, and a couple other ex-porn stars came here, and we are trying to adopt out beautiful puppies and kitties to the public for people who come here and to also raise awareness about pornography and its harms. Um, I'm an ex-porn star and I'm with Pink Cross Foundation and I actually fight pornography. Um, I am probably the leading critic of the porn industry. Um, at the same time, I'm also one of the most loving people. I love the people in porn. I'm trying to get them out, give them new lives. And so this whole event promotes all that we stand for. I got involved in porn um, in my 20s, in like the early 90s. I was a burnout stripper and prostitute, and I figured I had no reason to live and I was hopeless. And a veteran porn star came into um, the strip club and recruited me, which is very normal. A lot of veteran porn stars do that. They get kickbacks from producers. It's all sex trafficking. So she recruited me into my first porn scene, and then from there on, I got involved in very hardcore porn, like gang bangs, anal, DPs, just crazy stuff. And um, the entire time, I was on drugs and alcohol. I hated my life. Um, I was out of it. I was numbed from everything. And um, after about 30 movies, I got burned by the porn industry. After they promised me I would be kept safe, I got herpes and HPV. HPV ultimately led to me having cervical cancer where I had half of my cervix removed and herpes is a non-curable disease. But I found Jesus Christ. Um, I married a pastor's son. We have an amazing story and he was there for me for eight years. He stood by me while I overcame my porn past. And so to this day, I'm free from all that. I'm healthy. Um, I have beautiful children. I've been married 17 years. And here I am um, adopting puppies and kitties out. I got invited um, by the filmmakers of After Porn Ends, um, which is a movie. I guess it's number one on iTunes right now. And so I'm one of the interviewees in the movie. And so they asked me, would you come and promote giving out puppies and kitties? And I said, I would love to do that. So I brought my kids and my husband. So we're just having a ball today. Well, I'm the only ex-porn star trying to take the porn industry down. So I guess I stuck out to them. And I also have a nonprofit called Pink Cross Foundation. And we rescue women and men out of porn. We fight porn. Uh, we fight for rights, hu human rights, such as um, just recently we testified for a couple of years um, to enforce the condom law. And so now that law is being enforced to help save lives. Of course, the porn industry uh, is not happy about that. And they hate me, but a lot of the people in porn are grateful that we all came forward to tell the truth about our sexually transmitted diseases and that they're rampant and that we need to enforce condoms. Ultimately, my goal is to shut down the porn industry completely, and I believe that will happen within the next 10 years. I have seen parts of the movie. My problem is, um, well, first of all, let me tell you the positive part of the movie. The positive part is it shows a lot of the realities of what really goes on for um, porn stars after they leave porn. Um, it, porn follows you forever on the internet. Uh, you have kids later on, you've got to tell them what you really did and you got to deal with that. Um, I liked a lot of that. I liked what um, some people said about um, the harms of pornography. But then they had like some porn scenes in there like lesbians and that turned me off. So I actually had to turn the movie off. But um, I did get to watch some of the different interviews and they did a pretty good job on that part. But I, I just don't understand why they needed to show porn. They didn't need to do that. Porn devastates a human psychologically, physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. I mean, once you're involved in porn, something so hardcore where every two minutes they have to stop, wipe up blood, urine, and feces. I mean, it's disgusting. The porn scene's absolutely disgusting. Most of the porn films are made in private locations on a mostly older male set. So maybe there's two 18, 19, 20 year old girls there and like eight older males, camera crew, porn stars, and producers. Most, almost all the males, almost all the producers are male. 
So you're talking about young girls being intimidated by older males on a porn set. She goes, I don't want to do this. I, I'm not comfortable with that. And they talk her into it. Well, that's sex trafficking. Uh, U.S. Code, uh, Federal Code, Title 18 says that anyone who's lured and recruited, um, coerced, forced, threatened to do a commercial sex act is sex trafficking. And that is exactly what the porn industry does every day. I left porn when I caught a non-curable disease. I mean, how hard is that to figure out? That devastated me. I, I, when I caught herpes, back then there was really no education except for like a herpes foundation, and they told me, you'll have to keep all your utensils and your towels and your uh, laundry away from your daughter. She could catch herpes. I'm like, the rest of my life, I have to live with a non-curable disease? And so I just turned off the phone. I quietly left porn and said, that's it, I, I'm done. And um, cried out to God. In fact, I'm going to say that every day in the eight years I was in the sex industry, I cried out to God, which let me tell you, you don't think these porn stars do that. These sex workers, these strippers, prostitutes, we're all crying out to God at the end of the day because we don't want this. And so um, God finally heard me and sent me Mr. Wonderful, my current husband, um, and he just stood by me through recovery, and we did it, and we're here today. If a woman or man wants to get in touch with us and wants help, we would love to help them. They can go to help at thepinkcross.org or our website, www.thepinkcross.org and they can write to us and we'll do it. We'll do whatever we can to help them. We offer support. We offer, fi we offer financial help if we can. We help them find jobs. We, re we reunite them with their families. I mean, uh, we love their kitties. I can't even tell you. Like, we've actually adopted one of their cats just so they could go to recovery. So we like, we'll do whatever we humanly possibly can to help a woman or man leave porn. And if you're still in porn and you don't want to leave, I just want you to know we love you anyways and we'll do whatever we can to support you while you're in porn. Are you on Facebook or Twitter? Yeah, it's facebook.com forward slash Shelly Lubin, twitter.com slash Lubin, shellylubin.com, my website, or you can just Google my name and Shelly, S-H-E-L-L-E-Y, L-U-B-B-E-N on Google and you can find me and I'll answer you.